What's up guys, JJR here. Wedding season is upon us and I'm here to answer your burning wedding questions. Do it, James. All right, first question, here we go. For a newbie, is it better to stack the cake than deliver or stack the cake at the venue? Never stack the cake and deliver. So this is what I do. If the cake is three tiers or less, I will stack and deliver if it's fondant covered. Buttercream, always separate. And if it's over three tiers, always set it up at the venue. You never know if someone's gonna stop short, you're gonna hit a pothole. Be safe and not sorry. Do it at the venue. Next question. How do you stop fondant from sweating? Uh, that is a very, 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 very tough question that people have lots of different answers to. This is what I do. So in my cooler, I turn it up as high as I can towards the end of the week when I'm gonna be delivering a lot of cakes. So the colder your, your cooler is, when it comes out and hits the heat of the room, it's gonna start sweating immediately. So I turn it up slightly so it's not so cold. And then I also put every tier in a box, take the box and wrap the box in uh, saran wrap so that when you pull it out and let it come to room temperature, what will happen is condensation will happen on the wrap and not on the fondant. Because fondant's hydroscopic, it's gonna find water regardless. So you just create a barrier. What's the most epic wedding cake you've ever made? Uh, 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 the most epic wedding cake I've ever made. The most epic wedding cake I ever made was for Kim Zolziak Bierman and Corey Bierman's wedding a few years ago. They got married 11, 11, 11, and it was 11 tiers, and it had like $300 worth of Swarovski crystals on it, and it took like a week to make, um, but it was awesome and it was really beautiful. Follow up to that one, what's yes. the most difficult wedding cake you've ever made? I think the most difficult wedding cake I probably ever made wasn't a difficult wedding cake in design, it was difficult in logistics. I made a wedding cake for a friend of mine who got married at a beautiful hotel in Chicago. So I had to bake everything, get everything packed and drive to Chicago, work with the chef. He gave me a uh, space in like their basement kitchen and I worked for three days putting the cake together and then the, the wedding actually wasn't even at that hotel. I had to take it to a different venue and set it up, but it, uh, it all worked out perfectly. What's your plan B if you or someone else somehow dropped the cake seconds before the event started? I always, always have frozen cake in my freezer and I always have a dummy cake ready to go. Because if you drop that cake five minutes before, yes, you're gonna have to give her her money back. Yes, she's going to yell at you, but she's not gonna do it there because she's not gonna know that it happened. What was the first wedding cake you ever made? The first wedding cake I ever made was for uh, my, my mom's best friend. And it was, it was so bad. Like I had, I had like all these Wilton books and instead of like, I'll just make this cake, I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna make a tier of each one and stack it. It was like five or six tiers tall, but it was like blue and then it was pink and then it was yellow. And then this one was this color and it had flowers all over it and I actually catered the wedding and everything. What's the strangest request you've had for a wedding cake? Uh, the zombie cake. Zombie cake was the strangest request I've ever had. She was a friend of mine and the whole wedding was super shabby chic. She uh, does like this haunted house every year in North Georgia. And so that was like her way of getting that into the wedding. Um, so I, yeah, I mean, I was there like Dexter just throwing blood on that thing. <laughs> blood, it was fake, you know. While her grandma was sitting right there. I'm like, hey mama. It was really fun to make, but that was probably the strangest, yeah. What's going to be the wedding, the wedding cake of the season? I don't know what the wedding cake of the season will be because I feel like brides are so all over the place now. We're still doing, we're still doing farm to table, we're still doing geode, we're still doing drippies, we're still doing pylons, but I will tell you that the Pantone color of the year, that purple color will be everywhere. Uh, what tools would you put in a cake decorating survival kit? Dresden tool. One. Offset spatula. Two. Rolling pin. Three. The Slayer. Flare, thank you. Slayer, four. Gold dust. Gold dust, five. A mixer. Mixer. Six things in your emergency kit. Yeah. Final question. Okay. What is your dream wedding cake? My dream wedding cake? Yep. My dream wedding cake would be anything at all that came out of Margaret Braun's brain and beautiful, talented hands. She is my cake idol. She's the reason why I do cake. And one day we will do a cake hero episode but we'll have to film it over three days because her cakes are so elaborate but yeah i would just give her whatever amount of money she wanted and say make me whatever you want i don't even care what color it is i just want a piece of your art and that's all the questions awesome thank you guys for all of your questions tune in every tuesday in april to the man about cake channel for our wedding cake series see you there